Let's look quickly at some simple gradient colouring techniques. So we've got a nighttime image here that's quite moody. Let's go ahead, add a pixel layer, then select the gradient tool, and we'll just do a quick gradient from top to bottom, like so. Then set the blend mode to overlay. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. If we go up to edit the gradient colours here, we can change our white colour, which is at the top, to an orange. Then we can choose our mid-grey here and change it to, say, a deep blue. And then to adjust the spread of these colours, we can click drag to move the gradient nodes. So actually, I might decide that the default we started with at the very top and bottom is actually optimum. Then of course we can adjust the opacity to taste. So we can either have a really colourful nighttime image or just back it off a bit and suggest those tones rather than fully realising them. Okay, and then finally we can go in, let's just bring the opacity back up, and we can also experiment with different blend modes. So soft light makes the colorization and the gradient more apparent. Hard light gives a bit of a, an extreme effect that might be effective if you do use a lower opacity. Again, a similar story with vivid light. And you probably won't get much use out of the successive blend modes, but you can also investigate using add, for example, and using a lower opacity. So do experiment freely because you can achieve all sorts of interesting effects and tones by just using gradients and blend modes. Thank you for watching.